Sometimes health hazards hide in objects you use almost every day, such as the case of aluminum foil, which was invented in 1910. This common household product blocks light, moisture, and aroma, making it ideal to preserve and cook food. It is used to pack soups, drinks, to bake, and to wrap food. However, scientists have discovered that over the last 50 years, human exposure to aluminum has increased at least 30 times. and it is believed that 11 kg of aluminum are cast for every person on earth every year a growing body of research suggests that high doses of aluminum can be harmful to the human body watch this video till the end to discover more about this metal and how it is affecting our health and the environment but before we start subscribe to top10.com and do not forget to press the bell icon to get chased by our notification squad Aluminum is one of the most abundant metals on earth. In its natural state, it is bound to other elements like phosphate and sulfate in soil and rocks and clay. However, it's also found in small amounts in the air, water, and in your food. In fact, it is naturally occurring in most foods including fruits, vegetables, meats, fish, grains, and dairy products. Some foods such as tea leaves, mushrooms, spinach and radishes are also more likely to absorb and accumulate aluminum than other food. Additionally, some of the aluminum you eat comes from processed food additives such as preservatives, coloring agents, anti-caking agents and thickeners. Note that commercially produced food containing food additives may contain more aluminum than home cooked foods. The actual amount of aluminum present in the food you eat depends largely on the factors like absorption how readily a food absorbs and holds on to aluminum soil the aluminum content of the soil the food was grown in packaging if the food has been packaged and is stored in aluminum packaging additives whether the food has had certain additives added during processing so these were the actual factors which determined the presence of aluminum quantity in your food Most of your aluminum intake comes from food. However, studies show that aluminum foil cooking utensils and containers can leach aluminum into your food. This means that cooking with aluminum foil may increase the aluminum content of your diet. The amount of aluminum that passes into your food when cooking with aluminum foil is affected by a number of things such as cooking at higher temperatures, cooking with acidic foods such as tomatoes, cabbages and rhubarb, using salts and spices in your cooking. However, the amount that permeates your food when cooking can vary. It is impossible to completely remove aluminum from your diet, but you can work to minimize it. The World Health Organization and Food and Drug Administration have agreed that levels below 2 mg per 2.2 pounds body weight per week are unlikely to cause health problems. The European Food Safety Authority uses a more conservative estimate of 1 mg per 2.2 pounds body weight per week. However, it's assumed that most people consume much less than this. Here are some steps you can take to minimize unnecessary exposure to aluminum when cooking. Cook your foods at lower temperature when possible. Reduce your use of aluminum foil for cooking, especially if cooking with acidic foods like tomatoes or lemons. Use non-aluminum utensils to cook your food such as glass or porcelain dishes and utensils. Avoid exposing aluminum foil or cookware to acidic foods such as tomato sauce or rhubarb. Additionally, as commercially processed food can be packaged in aluminum or contain food additives that contain it, they may have higher levels of aluminum than their homemade equivalents. Thus, eating mostly home cooked foods and reducing your intake of commercially processed foods may help to reduce your aluminum intake. This research suggests that aluminum foil should not be used for cooking. Instead, we would recommend using glassware or porcelain when preparing baked dishes. It's safe to wrap cool food in foil, though not for long stretches of time because food has a shelf life and because aluminum in the foil will begin to leach into the food depending on ingredients like spices. If you like this video, give us a like. Share your feedback in the below comment section. Keep watching, keep sharing. See you soon in our next video.